Hey guys, what's up? What's new? It's your girl Star, and I'm back again with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. So today we're reacting to what is the Muslim's view on Mary in the Quran. Without further ado, let's dive right in. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Sarita Mary. I work in private company as administration manager and I wish to take up Islam. And it's only because of two men in my life. That is, I wish to marry a Muslim man and uh, I see him every day, the way he talks to people and his simplicity and he's very religious. The second person will be Mr. Zakir. That is because I am watching his speech and it is very informative to know about all the religion. Before I could take up Islam, I have one query to clarify by your end. That is, how is Mother Mary, that is Mary, Mother of Jesus, is described in Quran? Mashallah, sister is impressed with Islam by seeing a person who is religious and seeing my tapes. The only query is that how is Mother Mary described in Islam and what is the status? If you compare what is mentioned about Mother Mary, may Allah be pleased with her in the Quran as well as the Bible, in the Quran, there is a full chapter, a full surah, called as Maryam, on the name of the mother of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Maryam. If you read all the books in the Bible, whether the Old Testament or New Testament, whether the 66 books of the Protestant or 73 books of the Catholics, there is not a single book which is named after Mary. But there is a full chapter in the Quran called as Maryam, may Allah be pleased with her. And if you refer and analyze the story of the birth of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, mentioned in the Bible and mentioned in the Quran, both are different. Overall, they are the same, but minute points if you note. For example, if you read the Bible, it says that when Archangel Gabriel comes and asks Mother Mary that you shall have a son, so she replies, how shall I have a son where I know it not a man? Know it not a man means sexually. Same thing in the Quran, if you read in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 42, 247, where Mother Mary, she says that, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? So Archangel Gabriel replies, kun fayakun, when Allah decrees the matter and says to it be, and it is. So in the Quran it says when Mother Mary questions that how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? That means no man has touched her sexually. So Archangel Gabriel replies, when Allah decrees the matter, and says to it be and it is. In the Bible, Archangel Gabriel replies that the Holy Spirit will come unto thee. So when a person has to think that what will the Holy Spirit come unto Mary and do what? So it lets your mind wander. It lets your mind wonder what will the Holy Spirit come unto Mother Mary and do. The meaning is the same. It means that without any male intervention, Jesus Christ peace be upon him was born. But the way the Quran describes is more sublime, is more divine and is much more palatable as compared to the Bible. So if you read in the Quran, Allah says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 42, Allah says that the angels came and told that Allah has chosen thee to Mother Mary and chosen thee above the women of all nations. So the honor given to Maryam salam in the Quran is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that she is the chosen woman above the women of all nations. Imagine the Quran is being revealed in Arabic to the Arabs. And at that time, the Arabs and Jews did not get along well. The Quran says a Jewish woman, the mother of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Mother Mary, has been honored as the woman chosen above all the other women. Imagine Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is giving the message to the Arabs and is actually antagonizing them that the Jewish woman is chosen above the Arab woman. He did not say that his wife Khatija, may Allah be pleased with her, was the chosen woman or his daughter Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, the chosen woman. He could not because Allah said that the revelation from Allah, he has to repeat it. He says in the Quran 
that Mother Mary is the chosen woman above the women of all nations. So the respect given in the Quran to Mother Mary is far superior even than the Bible. Hope that answers the question, sister. Wow, the respect that I did not know that there was a whole sara or a whole chapter that is dedicated to Mary in the Quran, which is Miriam right i did not know that right the respect that islam has for their women is so wonderful guys this was wonderful can you imagine that out of the women worldwide god chosen has chosen you to bear a child by the holy spirit not by a man but by the holy spirit you were true you were chosen you're a chosen one right and you are a mother of a prophet right we we christians say she's a mother of our savior right who died on the cross and can you believe that you were chosen by almighty god to be the mother of Christ, right? And uh, you had to live upright. You had to be holy, right? And you have to. You had to care for this child, right? The son of God. You have. You had to care for him. Wow. But to not just think of that, but in those times remember mary was not married she was with joseph and joseph know that he did not sleep with mary but she still became pregnant and uh, this this made joseph furious right but then gabriel came to joseph right and he enlightened him that it was the spirit of god that impregnated Mary and she will be her she will be her the son of God right which is Jesus and they will call him king of kings lord of lord counselor prince of peace and the governor shall be upon his shoulder and to continue that she she in those times if you were to become pregnant and you were not married they'll say that you're fornicated because if you think these times are holy those times were even more holy and she would be stoned stoned to death right but the but God will will be done here on earth as it is in heaven god will will come to pass right and god was on her side because this was all god's plan right this was all god's plan in our lives this is this is what happened when we make when we make ourselves available god will use us for the greater good for the for his will right he will use us for his glory right he will lift up us lift us up from any drain from any sewage he will lift us up right because god said if we exalt ourselves we shall be a beast but if we humble ourselves will god will exalt us so can you imagine god chose mary out of billions of women upon this earth Mary was the chosen one, right? But at the, you'll you'll think that she would be happy, but she was confused at first. She was terrified because, as I said, you'll commit that sin, you'll be stoned to death. And she was questioning, she was wondering why her, why this happened to her, while many persons wish that they were the mother of of Christ. But she was a chosen one, and God know why she was a chosen one, because she was a virgin, right? She was pure. 
no man has ever touched her which makes her the right fit for to birth Christ right wow this is wonderful guys this is wonderful and to see that Islam has such respect for women and the dedication to Mary in the Quran there's a special script um scripture or a special chapter I should say for her which is just amazing because there is no special chapter in the Bible or any other books holy books right that refers to just her so it is wonderful guys it is really really wonderful that you guys say that Islam oppresses their women you guys are crazy persons out there anyway guys we come to the end of another reaction video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing i love and appreciate you guys so so very much let love lead the way I wish I had a time